my loves welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time honey you're welcome i just wanted to do an intro for this video um because today is going to be a cooking video i'm going to be making um a chicken mayo sandwich with chapatis from scratch some people call them uh I don't know the, the correct term for them. So today is going to be a cooking video and I'm going to try cook with you guys. So I just wanted to do an intro while the lighting is still amazing. So yeah, um, please, uh, if you're here for the first time, honey, welcome, welcome. Just don't forget to click on the subscribe button to join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You know how much I love you guys. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the cooking video. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, so these are the ingredients that I used for my chicken mayo. I used uh, bull peppers, uh, shredded, shredded chicken onions carrots and cucumber so yeah i was just i just let i cut everything off camera because i wanted um the chicken to be chilling and i just like simple things so i just cut everything and put it aside and i'll come back to the dish later and here is my mixed dough for the tortillas i used i mixed flour i used uh warm water a little bit of salt and a little bit of cooking oil and don't mind the mess on the ground because that's where i was kneading my dough and i'm going to be using it to knead the dough so anyway yeah this is how you make the tortillas just oil water flour salt and yeah the water has to be warm So here I went on and added more flour on the ground. Some people prefer doing it on the board, but I just prefer uh, doing it on the gr ground. And now I am just kneading, kneading, kneading until I feel like it's perfect. So now here I was washing my hands, getting ready in the knife, getting ready to divide into how many parts I want to make. So yeah. So here I'm going to go ahead and take my rolling stick. Um, I'm going to keep on adding more flour. I'm sorry that it was covered by the stick. But it was just flour on the ground. And here we are now getting ready to roll our dough. And make it flat into the desired shape that we want. So I was rolling, rolling, rolling. And I'm not going to roll all of them. On camera I'm sorry so I'm just gonna roll one and show you guys how you do it this one was giving me problem because probably my hands were still wet make sure your hands are dry so that the dough is not sticking on your hands so yeah I was rolling rolling and making a desired shape so after i was done rolling i took a bowl just to make um shape and i also took my knife again and i circled around to make a straight circle so this one's is as you can see the bowl is small so it can be used for maybe tacos or anything but for me when i'm making mine i normally don't uh, use the bowl 
because hey, it's too much work but because for aesthetic i just needed to show you guys that it you can make evenly per perfect perfectly evenly uh tortillas but for me i don't really mind you see at the end of the video that i just roll roll it out and just put it straight in the pan so now that we are done we put our tortilla in a pan on low heat make sure that you don't add anything you do not add oil you don't you already added the oil when you are mixing the dough so low heat and just place it in the pan and when it starts coming out bubbles like this it's time it means that you need to flip it so you need to cook it until the desired outcome some people like it when it's still white like this others like it thoroughly cooked and a little bit burnt so cook it to how you like it and for me as for me you'll see how i like mine as you can see guys at this side it's now looking like the ones the tortillas that we normally know and look at those bubbles it's not bent it's just it's nice so here i was done i completed making the tortillas and this is the outcome and this one was the first one that i did yeah so now we're going to go ahead and take that dish that we need to mix uh the chicken mayo and i'm gonna be using this lettuce to garnish and yeah this is my salad cream mayonnaise i don't know whatever term that you use but yeah and this one is the sweet one um the yeah the sweetened one so i am normally put like two or three but me i like it when it has a lot so one i put like three tablespoons i hope i'm correct and i then just went off and mixed it off camera so this is how it looks after i mixed it and now we're just going to try and try the food of course we need to test on camera but this is a healthy meal like it's if you want to be on a diet you want to lose weight and everything that i used here is pretty much affordable you can yeah it's a meal so today i was just feeling lazy after coming from work and i was like hey i don't have energy i just want something quick and then i made this so we're gonna um roll it and then we taste this was me taking the first bite and it was so 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 delicious so juicy i i'm telling you even when i'm i mean even when i'm recording right now i'm now doing the voiceover guys i could tell that hey i was even now feeling hungry again like it was amazing it slept I, every bite was making sense i could i could taste the onions i could taste the cucumber i could taste the carrots i could taste the um, green pepper it was just scrumptious i can't even wait to make this for my friends thank you for watching like comment share and subscribe bye